let's pivot to the IQ8 series. This is where things uh, get really interesting, as the video put it. Okay. And just like the IQ7s, there's a whole spectrum of IQ8 models. Also matched to different panel power outputs. Absolutely. It's all about finding that, you know, that sweet spot, getting the most energy without too much clipping. We should probably explain clipping soon. Yeah, definitely. But first, walk us through the IQ8 model. Sounds like there are quite a few more options here. There are indeed. Uh, you've got the base IQ8 and the IQ8 Plus, often the starting points. The base IQ8 lines up with similar panels to the original IQ7, that 235, 350W range. Okay. The IQ8 Plus is really popular, very versatile, often paired with panels from 235 up to maybe 440 watts. It's a sweet spot for a lot of common panels. Right. Then you step up in power handling, you get the IQ8M. Good range. Yeah, good mid-range choice. Yeah. Think of panels around 260 to 460 watts. Then the IQ8A handles even more, maybe 295 up to 500 watts. For the really high power panels we see now. That's where the IQ8H models come in. You might oh. see names like IQ8H240, uh, often for panels 320 to 540 watts plus, or the IQ8H280, maybe 295 to 500 watts, sometimes for specific electrical setups. Okay, wow. Then there are the IQ8AC and IQ8HC. These are basically the iq 80 and IQ8HH, but they're integrated right into end phases racking. Oh, interesting. Similar power. Pretty much. Yeah. The AC version may be up to about 480 watts, the HC up to around 505. And is there an IQ8X? Yep. Just like the IQ7X, there's an IQ8X. Again, for those 96 cell panels. But this one can handle serious power up to 640 watts, often more for commercial jobs. Okay. And finally, they also list an IQ AMC model, which seems to align with the IQ 8M range, that 260 to 460 watts. Phew. Okay, that is a lot of models, but I see the pattern. Like Integrate, some pointed out, generally higher letter. Means it can handle higher wattage panels. Okay. 